Hello. Today we're going to make a lemon card. <laughs> Alrighty. So all you need is a card. That's an A2 card. Um, you just need two pieces of yellow paper. <coughs> and I've used this. It's supposed to be raindrops, but it reminded me of pulp like orange and lemon pulp. So I thought, oh, I'm gonna use that. So, and you need, so you need two pieces that are one inch, one inch wide by five and a, five and a half inches long. So it'll fit on your card front. And then one of the, one of the pieces you cut in half lengthwise because one piece is gonna go on the inside. So half an inch by five and a half, one inch by five and a half, half an inch by five and a half inches. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and lay these down, glue them on. And I've already run them through the folder. So that way you don't have to watch me doing that. And you can, I was thinking we could do any of, I like doing type of, this type of card with using yellow with, and then thinking, what's yellow, what's stamp images? And that's what I, that's why I chose the lemons because I thought, all right, I've got these yellow cardstock strips. So what, what do I, what kind of stamps do I have? And I remembered, I, I just recently got this lemon set. So I wanted to use this because why not? Let's make it monochromatic, right? There, and I just got to trim that excess bottom off. inside to match we've got the outside to match that's neat okay and I've got my my lemons and I think I want to put them on like that that'll be cute and let's go ahead and 3d them up saw this this card idea it may have been on Facebook I took a screenshot of it and then when I that's what I always do I always take a screenshot when I see a card that's cool and I want to case it so alrighty so that's done and then we need a verse down here which I do have this verse didn't I don't like the way that looks that's kind of fuzzy so I can either stamp it on white and then cover it and 3d it or I can try to salvage it by doing this I think I can salvage it because it's just a couple little pieces right there right there and right there okay that looks better to me all right sometimes it just Sometimes you can fix it, sometimes you can't. All right, that looks okay to me. Yay, ta-da. All righty, and then I've got these flowers. So I'm gonna put one flower right here. I don't need the fuzz on it. That's funny, I can see it upside down, but not on the other side. And maybe I want it right here. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, and then I want the yellow pink because 
because I want to do this. I want to do the flower middle with this yellow. Perfect. Okay. Alrighty. I'm liking the way that looks. Where did I put my... Whoops, there it is. Alrighty. There. Now what I want to do is I want to take and use this green. Do I want green for that? No, I'm going to do bling. Okay. All right. That looks pretty. I like the way that looks. Sending you a big squeeze. All right. We do have an extra lemon. So let's put that on the inside right here. That would be perfect. And I kind of like the way those are curling up. So let's go ahead and add a little piece to make those stay curling up. That's kind of a cute idea. And then I'll glue the lemon itself down. There. All right, put a little bit of glue on here. I like that. That's cute. <laughs> okay, now I should have some bling that'll match. So let's pull out my bling container. Let's put these markers or these ink pads back. Yellow goes up in here. Green goes over here. Alrighty. There we go. Perfect some leaves left. <laughs> oh, that's actually kind of cute up there. I kind of like that. You know what? Let's put those leaves up there. Why not? I've got them stamped and cut out. May as well use them, right? Do I like them better there or here? Hmm. Oh, gosh. I think I like them up here. That does, I, nope. You know what, I think I like them down here. Because that helps make a triangle for me. And I like that. All right, nice. All right, so let's check out our bling and see what we've got. I'm sure we've got some yellow in here. Oh yes, I even have the little raindrop ones. That looks like pulp, that's perfect. That is awesome. Alrighty, let's do this. That'll be cute. So we'll do one. What is with all these little hairs today? Good golly molly. Two and Every single one has fuzz on them. That's weird. Three. That's cute. I like that card. What do you think of that? That's kind of a different card, huh? And all you need is the two strips of paper. Two one inch wide strips. And you cut one in half so it's half an inch wide. Put a piece on the inside. I like that. I like the way that looks. Okay. All righty, so check that out. There's our lemon squeezy card. <laughs> and there's the inside. I love the inside too. That's really cute. And I love that using the raindrop folder to make it look like pulp. That's pretty clever. All right, so I hope you like this idea and you'll give it a try. And until we meet again, happy crafting. Bye-bye.